Warning, this game contains acts of violence, strong language, and sexual imagery. It is not suitable for children or young adults under the age of 17. Viewer discretion is advised. What's happening everyone, my name is Anthony Santana and welcome back to Always Sometimes Monsters. Now where we last left off, we were at a salon with Larry's wife Belinda and things kind of got a little hectic but we pulled through. I ended up having to uh, pay her her little mis misfortune? Not really. But anyways, I um, also invested in a couple of sandwiches with, at a very low price of 12 bucks. I'm gonna check later today if they ro if they rose any. If the if the prices rise over 26 bucks, I'm selling, cause that is a profit right there, right away. Anyways, carrying on. So this is where all the magic happens, huh? I always expected the publishing office to be a little more glamorous, you know. Well, this isn't technically just our warehouse. The actual office is closer to downtown. What are we doing here then? This is the job I was talking about. We've got a real situation on our hands with a strike right now and need the help. These orders aren't going to fill themselves and we can't afford to stagnate. Orders? You mean I'm shipping books out to stores or something? Well, not exactly. The company is selling off unused slipcovers and spines to a pulping plant overseas in China. It's a decent way to recoup some of the losses and we got a big environmental tax credit. Heh, <laughs> paper doesn't grow on trees, you know. When you said you'd have work for me, I figured it'd be in, a, in my wheelhouse, you know? Putting letters into words, words into sentences, so on and so forth. Come on, Tony. You had your chance already. How many times do you expect me to stick my neck out for you? Wait, you said unused slip covers. You're kidding me, right? You're literally having me pulp my own failures? What the fuck, Larry? Well, the boxes are sealed. I'll leave the mystery up to you. You're not our only failure on our books, you know? Right, because being the worst of the worst would still mean I'm the best at something. Hey, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll give you a minute to change and meet you downstairs. There's a uniform in the lockers over there. The foreman's kind of particular about it, so do me the favor of playing along. Whatever. Hey, maybe think of it as a new start. We're still a team, you know? Sure feels like it. Don't give me that, Tony. You're mad at yourself, not at me. We're still a team, right? Yeah, I guess. Alright, cool. Take a minute to collect yourself. I'll see you in five. The phone's by the copy maker if you still need it. Well, might as well. Alright, so coffee maker's right there. Let's see. The X's number. Well, here goes nothing. Hello? Uh, hello? Is, uh, Natalie there? No, sorry, this is her old number. She gave me her old phone when she moved out, of, out to San Bernardino. Oh, sorry about that then. Thanks anyway. What's your name anyway? So I can say who called. Oh, right, it's Tony. Holy shit, I thought I recognized that voice. Oh, damn it, I gave him the wrong voice. It's me, Mark. Mark? Yeah, come on now. You remember old Mark Kansas, don't you? Shit, Junior. You've probably forgot all about me. I've known you since you were in nappies, baby boy. Old friend of your... Old friend of your folks. I used to look after you on odd weekends here and there. Well, you looked after yourself mostly, but you get the idea, right? Shit, I haven't talked to any of y'all in a long while. How are the old folks anyway? Ah, never mind. Ah, never mind that. What the hell are you doing calling up Natalie? Don't tell me you two know each other. Yeah, we know each other. Well, we dated and we lived together. We dated for a while, actually. Well, I'll be damned. Now that I, I picture it. You two would make a pretty good couple. It's one hell of a small world, I'll give you that. I will. I heard she's getting married though, isn't she? Not too long from now in San Verdano, if I recall. Yeah, that's where I'm trying to get to. 
Of course, money's tight and travel's expensive, so it's been a nightmare so far. Well, shit, Salt City's on the way. You swing by here, and I'll drive you there myself. Might as well give him the accent that I haven't been giving him. Are you serious? That'd be a huge weight off my shoulders. Of course I'm serious. I'll take you right to the chapel if need be. It's the least I could do. It'd just be really nice to see you again. See what you look like all grown up. Alright then, thanks. How do I find you when I get to Salt City? Ah, you can ask pretty much anyone in town and they'll tell you. Just look for the Jubilee Trailer Park though. That's where you'll find me. Door's always open. Well, alright then. Thanks a lot. I guess I'll see you when I get there. Jubilee Trailer Park in Salt City. Woo dog, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Looking forward to seeing you, Tony. Yeah, I guess you too, uh, Mark Hansis. See, you do remember. Alright, I gotta go now, but you take care, Tony. Well, I didn't expect that. Back to reality for now. Let's get this shitty warehouse job out of the way. Log, that's not what I want. It's an empty locker. Warehouse uniform, let's get changed. And let's earn us some money, what's this? Looks like a trashy tabloid magazine or something. I suppose flipping through the headlines wouldn't hurt. Chilean army conscripts werewolves. Okay. Well, I suppose wolfmen would be pretty good during night missions. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's go. Glad you can make it. I'm the foreman here. From here on out, you'll be reporting to me, alright? I expect to see some hard work from you. I don't need any more layabouts or, sl or slackers. I've had enough of you young, anti-union punks bitching about orders. Understand me? Hey, Red. Give it a break today, alright? You trying to tell me how to ruin my warehouse? Jesus, everyone's a critic. Tony's an out-of-towner. He's got nothing to do with the strike. Ah, what do you know, you panty-waist faggot? <sighs> as much as I didn't want to say it, I actually said it. Maybe that's part of their damned anarchist plan, you know? Red, I think you're starting to get paranoid. Tony's an old friend. You can trust him. Well, why didn't you say so? Will someone tell me what's going on? Red here is one of the 13 leaders of the Beaten Workers Union. You're walking into the middle of a minor dispute between the union and some of its former members. Minor dispute? Those ungrateful bastards refuse to pay union dues. Well, you did sell them out to Macroshaft. Bah. Bah. What have you ever had to worry about job security? That vote guaranteed the city the contracts we needed to keep things running. You know, those things us dirty peasants who don't work in skyscrapers worry about. If I were you, I'd stick my nose out of the business if I don't belong in. Anyway, none of this is any of, our concer of your concern. That's right. You've got no business in union affairs until you've proven yourself. You're hurt we're hurting for members, but I'm not about to bend the rules now. Even if you are a friend of the company. Here's the pay I promised you. I don't know if it'll get you all the way to San Bernardino, but it should help. 150, nice! Cash up front? Those new contracts are even better than I thought. I still expect a full day's work out of you, Tony. Even if you are a newbie. Don't worry, I'll do a good job. We'll see. You do a good job, and I'll take you back to the clubhouse for a drink after. Most of the gang will be there, and they're, and they're all looking for a good labor right now. Alright, I'll leave you two to the job then. I've got to get back to the office before the whole day slips away. Right, down to business. We've got a conveyor belt at one end of the warehouse and a truck at the other. Your job will be to take the boxes off the conveyor belt and put them onto the truck. There's a lot of boxes to move, so I don't want to see you slacking, alright? If you really put your back into it, we might even be able to clear all the stock out today. Manage that and I can guarantee there will be plenty more work for you later. Move the boxes from the conveyor belt to the truck. I think I can manage that. Great. As a union member, I'm doing my coffee break now. So I'll check back on you in a bit, alright? I expect to see a decent number of boxes moved before I return. 
Yeah, got it. You get coffee, I get boxes. Alright, enough chatting. Get to work. Okay, so do I actually have to do that stuff? Sounds like I'm closed in. Are these the trucks? Can't tell if these are the trucks. Switch is jammed. Well, that sucks. Okay, which boxes do I move? Okay, alright, first box. This doesn't seem to be hard. Where's the truck at? Oh, there it is. Good. Okay, so I'm just going to have to quickly do a little speed run of this. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, he's up there. I'm going to go talk to him in a bit. Hold on. I saw something over here by these vending machines also that I want to pick up. Ooh, a screwdriver. Nah, leave it. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go on ahead and talk to him now. Holding over already. I think there's more boxes still coming, but if you're losing steam, you can hang up your uniform in the office. Eh, a couple more boxes. So this is the last box. I'm actually gonna save it right after putting it, or right at the stairs. So um, off camera, I'm gonna do a bit more of this work. So I'm gonna save it right there. And I'm going to go hang up my uniform. Okay, I've moved enough boxes to call it a day. Get changed. Alright, so I'm done with that. He's still there. I take it you're done for the day, huh? There's still a few more boxes to be shipped, but I guess you gotta get home. You gotta go home sometime. Everyone's a quitter these days, I guess. I don't quit so easily. Well, I assume you, you remember where you left your uniform then. I see some sweat out there. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I'll keep working. You douche. Yeah. I guess I'll just do a jump cut depending on how long this takes. Okay. I've reached the 99 cap limit. I hope it really doesn't go to 100 or restart. So let's find out. Yep, that's the cap. Okay, I'm done here. This took about half an hour. Also, this camera is not well placed because somebody could just stand here on the stairs and just break it down. See, there's nothing here, is there? I didn't bother checking the place out. And the restrooms? Nah. And looks like a second Indie Heroes figure from Wakamele. Okay, well, I don't want to look anymore now. Just go and change. Oops, that wasn't it. There, moved enough boxes to call it a day. 99 boxes plus one. Which it won't count. Oh, wait, do I want to buy anything? Now I don't want to. Okay, so I'm done here. Finally. It's against unit rules to move anything while not wearing a jumpsuit. Okay, well, looks like I'm done then. I take it you're done for the day, huh? There's still a few more boxes to be shipped, but I guess you gotta get home sometime. Everyone's a quitter these days, I guess. Yeah, I'm done. I'm not moving another damn box. Hey, you got through a hundred of them. That's nothing to sneeze at, really. I could do at least double that in my prime, though. Hey, don't get sour with me. This is a job, not a charity. Most of my former staff seem to have forgotten that. I like your tenacity, though. Hey, what do you say we head out of here and grab a drink? Union Clubhouse ain't too far. I'll drive us. I'll introduce you to the other bosses, see if we can get you some more work. That would be perfect! Sounds pretty good actually. <laughs> yeah! It looks like I got more, more jobs now. Okay, so afternoon 8. 
Hey, thanks again for the help today. It hasn't been easy since everyone quit and you've clearly got quite the hustle when you want to. I don't say that lightly either. Good help's hard to find these days. Thanks, I guess. I'm gonna put in a good word for you at the club. Trust me, once I vouch for you to the rest of the union leaders, you'll get more work than you'll know what to do with. Give it a month and I guarantee you'll be off your dark friend's couch and into a place of your own. Beaton's been a kind home to me nearly all my life. I think you're really going to like it here. You've got the kind of button-down attitude that'll take you places in this town. Thanks, but I don't think I'm staying. Yep. <laughs> I don't understand what's wrong with you kids. Your whole generation's got the same attitude like you're too good for a simple blue-collar life. Only ones who stay these days are those anti-union anarchist punks, total pain in my ass. Well, let me tell you something, Buster. This place, my home, beaten. It's too good for the likes of you anyway. Whoa there. I didn't mean th that as an insult. I'm just on a bit of a mission right now, you know? I've got to get to San Bernardo before the month's through, and every day the clock's counting down. Oh yeah? What's over there you're gonna find? What's San Bernardo got? I've got a future out there. A future over there? A future over here? Tell me, what's the difference? You go off chasing some ideal of what the future ought to be, and you're gonna get quite a surprise when you realize you weren't ready for it. Hey, do whatever you want, it's your life. All I'm saying is that you aren't gonna have much of a future if you're doing nothing but chase it. It's gonna be out of your reach forever, trust me. Okay, shh, quiet a sec. You hear that? No, stay here a minute. What the hell is that? Hey, what the hell do you bastards think you're doing up there? The roof's for authorized personnel only. Oh. Hi there. Oh jeez, don't- oh, oh no. Authorize this shithead. Oh no. <laughs> My fucking car. Dude, dude, no. Direct hit. Dude, no. Here comes round two. Oh, oh no, no, that's gross. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ugh. Ugh, that's disgusting. Oh god, no. Wait, that's a satellite thing. Oh jeez, that thing looks... <laughs> oh no. Oh boy, I think he yacked. Take that, piece of shit. No. Hey, let's get out of here. Oh good, okay. That satellite looks very flimsy. Ugh. Oh, I'm gonna need a second. There's a hose over by the... Okay, I got it. I could probably use this hose to clean off the car. Grab it. Well, someone's gotta do it, I guess. Yeah, this is probably a bad idea. Don't spray him. Yeah, better not. Hey, that's working. Don't stop. Okay, shut it off. Nice job, kid. Come on, let's get out of here before they decide to return with some Mexican food. I'll give you a lift to the club. Union Clubhouse. Night 8. Huh. So what is this place exactly? This is the Union Clubhouse. It's where all the dues paying members come to relax, unwind, and toast a drink or two after work. You're one of us now, so feel free to come by anytime you like. Sweet! Is everything alright, Mr. Red? You smell... Yeah, I know. Goddamn punks at it again. Is there anything I can do, sir? Nah, I'm heading home to change. I wanted to introduce you to Tony. He saved my ass today, so he can ride on my membership, alright? Certainly, it's a pleasure to have you, Tony. Hey, you're here under my name. Enjoy the place, but don't embarrass yourself, alright? And don't even think about crashing on the couches here. That kind of vagrancy is frowned upon. Got it. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here, but I want you to come back here tomorrow. 
I've got a meeting here with someone pretty important. They've got a job that needs taken care of. As I've said, I like your work ethic, so I want to bring you on board. I can't do it myself, and you've more than proven yourself today. Well, thanks, I guess. That's the, what's the job? That we'll find out tomorrow. Alright, cool. So, it seems like I've got this place now. Alright, well, I gotta know where this place is first. Uh, I'm gonna deposit my money in the ATM real quick. Let's see. Checking balance. I have 450. And I wanna deposit 150. I don't mind keeping just one buck. Okay, so I have 600. Oh, that's where it is. Okay, cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna go on and head over to Larry's place. And I'm gonna call it an episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see. Okay, so there's a bit more. I guess this episode will run a bit longer. Hey, Larry. Hey. I was moving the boxes left to right. Slow, boring, completely tedious. Red took me to his union's clubhouse after, though, so I guess it's not all bad. He took you to the clubhouse? After your first day? Boy, they must be hurting for new members really badly. Yeah, well, there's a bunch of folks there. Red said they'd probably have work for me if I asked. I might swing by tomorrow and see what I can drum up. It's not a bad idea. Just be careful, though, alright? I don't know all the details, but things are getting kinda tense. There's a lot of people who aren't too happy with the union these days. Uh, I'm not planning on sticking around, Larry. I've only got 22 days left before the wedding. I doubt I'll be around long enough to get invited to their annual holiday party. So long as you keep writing in that journal of yours, I don't care what you do. How's it coming, by the way? I think I've got six pages finished right now. I missed a few days, but whatever. That's pretty good, Tony. Just promise me you'll keep up with it, alright? I'll do my best. Right, well I'm off to pick up Belinda from her sister's place. Make yourself at home and I'll see you when I see you, I guess. Alright, well now I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.